you see this yeah we're going to talk about how do we come about this when it comes to motion picture and um we have a light dome here that i'm using even though it's off camera right now but i have this light dome right here and i have also this parabolic softbox all right so let's just talk about this how do we come about this when it comes to the content creating that we're having today most people believe that you need to make your video look cinematic they like their scene or their set most podcast today will light their set to make it look cinem cinematic let me put it that way and uh when you do something like that right uh yeah to each his son i'm not saying this are not good thing but i'm just saying that um there is a foundation for everything and when it comes to um cinematography they have a layout foundation you know some bylaw which it can be broken but can we just dive into this back then and see how things have been done and why we have what we have now and why most people are adopting it even though they lack the knowledge of how it has been done right from the one the right way but because of hybrid okay so if we have to go back right now and look into this right this is a parabolic softbox and that take me to photography photography is all about capturing still image so we have soft posts of this shape or in different shape some are even bigger than this we have dome lantern things like that came into effect later on but the purpose of building all this in the first place meaning that the initial intention of why all this big big giant boss do exist is meant for photography not videography just like the way we are seeing it today so they are for photography if we have to fast forward when it comes to photography we get to the point that we're using iBit camera just like what i'm using right now i'm using iBit camera that can take picture at the same time i can do video but back in the days you don't get the two to come together it's either you are buying a camera that can do still photography which just to capture image or you buy a video camera like camcorder that can only do video just to capture motion image okay and that being said you get to a point as technology advanced we have these two being married together that is we have the invention of what we call dslr that can do photography very well but can do like maybe five to 30 minutes of video recording that is how this ibit come together as technology advances so also we have camera manufacturer that are putting more effort into making sure that we have this ibit camera coming into our uh, private use for content creating and if you're a photographer there's a chances that you will have all this parabolic softbox in place this kind of coming gradually into motion or uh, image capturing yes i'm not saying this is not nice and i'm not saying this is not good but i'm just trying to lay the foundation of how we get to where we are today and if you look at it very well right it works fine for most people but most of those people that are using soft bus in capturing a uh, motion image today don't know why they just believe it look good it makes things work fine and they are just doing it just because someone is using it all right but have you ever wonder if you are watching a news or, or tv station or something like that that you don't really see something like this right their set their design is kind of different and do you know why that is because during the time of photography that you only have camera that capture only still image this is their equipment for lightning when it comes to motion picture they have camcorder and they have their own lighting system and what you are looking right here is the type of lighting system that they are using okay some of them are using the big one during those times that uh, they use all those uh, toxin light that you know they are really hot when you put them on all right this is more or less like uh, they are um the 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 advanced model of those one because during those time i can see all those to be called analog analog lightning right because they use big bulb 
And those things get really hot a lot on set. So just like we have DSLR today, now we have mirrorless camera with the eye bridge. Back in the days, those are big, big heavy camera that we have that they can't even perform better than what we have in all this small body today. The same thing with this. We have all those big lights that they are using in cinematography before we have the invention of this. But as technology advances, we have this kind of lighting coming out. But my point is that this is the kind of lighting that they're using when it comes to cinematography or when it comes to capturing motion picture, okay? So you don't see this when it comes to photography and you don't see something like this when it comes to motion picture, all right? But when we are talking about hybrid now, that is where these two come together to play in a role that they normally won't play in the first place, all right? So we have content creator, YouTuber, all those things, all the way going to podcast. And um, most people, like I said, a photographer, they bring this equipment and it works fine for them. A lot of people see it, they adopt it the same. When manufacturer of all these things realize that people are using it, filmmakers, content creators are using it, they refine their purpose. And it's, it's now kind of also hybrid that I can call it, hybrid softbox, because they can now work in both sides of the eye. They can function as a photographer uh, um, box. They also can function as a videographer lighting uh, system. So my point is that most people are using the softbox not knowing why they are using it. They're only using it because someone is using it and it looks fine. The reason why I'm doing this video today is that I've seen a lot of people getting stuck with a soft box, creating YouTube video or doing podcasts. A lot of people are struggling with soft box because of their space, where they are creating their content. Thinking that this is the only option they have when it comes to lighting their studio. Some stuck with the hair lantern. These things are among us, they are big in size. Yet, some people will choose it as their, you know, go-to when it comes to light softening or cutting down their light, they'll go for this. But when you come to filmmaking, you will realize that you don't really see soft bus with them. In most cases, they will be using direct sunlight, which is the natural light source. You hardly see any filmmaker on set using parabolic soft box. This is kind of designed to stay in the studio. But now that they are building so flexible, a lot of people adopt this and bring it into their workspace. And the cases that you're going to be seeing, probably soft boss using for motion images, those people that are doing corporate interview are using it now because probably they have big space that they can set it. But you know, the look always look nice though. You don't need to shoot your interview to look like a cinema. And that's why they call it interview. A cinema setting is kind of different. To make it cinematic, they need all the softer look. But if you are shooting interview, either corporate interview, does it have to look cinematic? I don't think so. You only make the interview interesting if you know how to do storytelling. You are not doing that because you have a soft box. And um, I'm just trying to let people understand that. Shooting in 24 frame or trying to mimic filmmaking while you are doing podcast or you doing YouTube video, make no sense. Like I say, to each is so it may make sense to you, but shooting in 24 frames per second or trying to mimic film look, that shouldn't be your focus if you get what I mean, because you are not shooting movie and that's why you don't need it. But my main topic today is that if you have a studio or if you are a content creator, if motion picture is what you are doing, this shouldn't be your first choice or thinking that I want a softer look when it comes to capturing motion image. I mean, you are not doing photography. You are trying to capture motion picture. And if that is what you're trying to do, this is where I think you should be putting your mind. And I have another one. If you look at this, look at it. These are all kind of light panel that you can use in your space that you that, that, that can save you the headache from parabolic soft box. Parabolic soft box are good, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying they don't have their place, I'm just saying that the reason for them why they actually exist in the first place is because they are designed for photographer. This is what is designed for people that capture motion image. If you look at this foggy plate, this foggy plate, this is a diffuser that cut out the intensity of the light, but if that is not enough for you, you can still shoot through another screen that will cut down just like this 
All this, they have their modifier that they use in shaping the light. One of them is the bandor. You have your bandor to shape the light to how you want it to be. Or you have air crates like this or grid to even, you know, further shape the light. So guys, if you are kind of limited in space where you are creating your content, maybe YouTube, if you're doing podcasts and co, stop looking at parabolic thought box. When you are looking into buy a lighting system for your content, this should be where you should go. They come in different sizes, but they are kind of flat. And if you look at this, just look at the size of this. They are all flat panel and they are already diffused before you get them and they can further be diffused if you desire to. Why am I showing you this today is that when it comes to motion image, do you really need to be moody if you are not shooting a movie that is going in the theater? But when it comes to shooting YouTube, when it comes to creating content, when it comes to podcast or corporate interview, when you are shooting motion image, this is what I'm going to recommend, flat panel. Two things happen here, why this light are designed this way. They are portable when it comes to their usability. They save space when it comes to that. They are very easy to shape. And when you shape them, they won't take this much space from you. When you look at this sub box, if I have to put it in a space that I want to do lighting myself, it's going to go that wide long, right? And if I have to kind of rig this light up right now, with the band or everything, the wideness is not going to be more than this. Do you see, like from this wall here, it's going to take this space. That's the much space it's going to take. There's a reason where they design motion picture lighting this way, to save space. Also, this lighting are easy to hang when you hang them up, okay? So before I round up, I think you understand now why we have parabolic soft bus in the space of motion picture image is because of hybrid shooter. Those people that are photography experienced now coming into motion picture are bringing the equipment. A lot of people say it, they like it and they adopt it. Manufacturers say that people are using it, they perfect it so that it can function in both world. And that is how we get into using parabolic softbox in motion image capturing, which initially is not designed to be so. I think we get it right now. Hmm? Yeah. So guys, at that being said, I'm going to be doing a review on this light. If it's something you want to, if it's something that you are interested in knowing more about light panel like this, I would advise that you subscribe to this channel if you're yet to be a subscriber and um, click the notification button so that when this video is out, you'll be among the first to know. And I believe you're going to benefit a lot from the review I'm going to be doing on this one. And whatever you get from here, you can apply it to any other light panel that you are able to buy if you can buy something like this. And that's going to be it for me on this one, guys. Until next time, stay blessed. Bye-bye.